guys, welcome to this week's video. So I'm back with another book video. I have been on a roll with these recently, I feel like. But I saw, I think Steph Bohr, is that how you say your name? Do this video and I've seen like a lot of these on like TikTok and stuff of like every book that you wanna read for the rest of the year, like everything like that's on your radar for the rest of the year. It's still gonna be different than like my fall TBR and like my winter TBR. It's just like the books that like I will like, I don't wanna say 100%, but like 98% will be reading every single one of these books that I show you that I'm just like dead set on getting these read before the end of this year. So let's just get started. I got really dark all of a sudden. It's very much raining right now. I'm loving the cozy, like dare I say fall vibes. Guys, I have what's left of it. This is a pumpkin latte. I've been waiting I've been waiting for this day for since last year when they went away. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna start out with the ones that I don't have physically with me. So the first on this list that I will be literally 100% reading like the day it comes out. Okay, I don't know where I was, but also if you hear dog breathing, I'm sorry, he's it's raining, so he's gonna be freaking out. Guys, ever since I made a whole video about him, the fame has gone to his head. He thinks he, no, I'm kidding. Okay, don't know where I was, but First book on this list is Daydream by Hannah Grace, part of the, you know, Icebreaker Maple Hills series. I just, I love her books and her writing and her that series. So obviously that will be 100% read. It's also gonna be part of a reading vlog coming later this month. So like, it's gonna get read like 100%. I just had to put it on this list. Oh, I really wanna read Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez because that would complete the little like standalone series that she has going on that I like that's the one that I haven't read from that series which is actually the first one that you're kind of supposed to read. I definitely want to go back and read that one because I feel like a lot more of her most recent book will also make sense after I read that. So part of your world, Abby Jimenez, don't have it with me but you know hopefully it's gonna get read. Not hopefully, I, it, I wow imagine if I could not stutter. I'm not gonna say hopefully, I'm not gonna say maybe it will be read by the end of this year. The next book is Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. That's part of the Dreamland Billionaire series. Um, I've read the first book of that series and I just never continued it. I literally, it was like the first book that I finished this year, I believe. I just need to read the rest of this year. Like there's only two other books. I just need to read it. So I want to at least get to that book in the series by the end of this year. Okay, so those are the ones that I don't have with me. We have this stack of books that I'm now gonna go through. So number one on my list that I will 100%, I feel like I'll read this in the fall time because it's just like, it's giving me fall vibes. It's called Reckless as if you haven't seen this. Reckless by Elsie Silver, fourth book in the um, Chestnut Spring series. And then once I'm done with this one, then I'll only have Hopeless to read. So then like, hopefully that'll be motivation to just like finish this series. And this one just seems very enticing. Like from what I've heard, I heard I've heard it's very good. And just like the sneak peek we got of this couple from Powerless was really good. So I'm very excited about this one. Next we have one of my favorite authors, which is crazy to me that I haven't read this yet. Um, but that is Allie Hazelwood's Bride. This came out, did this come out this year? There was lightning. Did you guys see that lightning? Bride by Ellie Hazelwood. This is her, um, what is it called? Paranormal romance. She does usually write paranormal romance. I've heard mixed reviews on this book, but I definitely want to give it a shot. But yeah, like I said, this is not her most recent re release. I'm actually reading her most recent release right now, but I just like never like was too interested in this, but I was like, I've read all of, all of her other books. I definitely want to <laughs> read this one before her next release. So this will definitely be read this year, probably more closer to October because it's, you know, spooky <laughs> vibes. And then we have You Again by Kate, Kate Goldbeck, which actually there's an Allie Hazelwood like review, whatever you want to call these, at the top. So I have to read it. Like <laughs> I just have to. I bought this like last end of last fall. So I was like, I feel like I can't read this unless it's the fall time. So I saved it because it, obviously it's like very much fall vibes on the cover. I'm assuming it takes place in fall. I don't know if it's like, okay, ooh, they hate each other. So like it's enemies to lovers, I'm assuming. Yeah, I just feel like it'll be good fall vibes, hopefully, even if it's not, the cover is just like perfect to be like in a little coffee shop. Reading this book with my pumpkin latte. Guys, the vibes are perfect for this. So next on this list, I kind of, okay. I'm not saying that I will get to every single one of these. This is just my, I definitely want to start a new fantasy series by the end of this year. Um, I just don't know exactly which one I'm going to, so I have, I have multiple options. One of them I actually don't have with me, and that's called Defy the Night. I'll put it here. I don't remember who the author is. I saw that book like last year and like read the excerpt of it, and it sounds so, so good. Like it sounds like such a good, I believe it's a series. Um, at least that's the first one. It just sounds really good. I could not tell you what it's about right now, but I remember reading it and being like, that sounds so good. And every time I go into Barnes, I like pick up 
pick it up and read the back of it and I'm like that sounds so good and I like almost buy it but then I remember I have all of these fantasies at home and I'm like maybe not <laughs> but so that is one of my options otherwise I would love to start the serpent and the wings of night guys this is the UK cover I feel very special I bought this in London because <laughs> I've been wanting to read this again for like since last year pretty much um but I read Akatar this year or like last year into this year and that just took up like all of my fantasy like energy <laughs> But this one sounds good. This is about vampires as well. Or we have Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This is a trilogy. I know you're supposed to read this other trilogy. Not supposed to, but like you could read this other trilogy before this to like set up for this, but you also don't have to. So I probably won't. This is a YA fantasy, so I feel like it would be easier to read. So I feel like this could be a good option, especially with school. Just like a lighter fantasy if I want. Or my other fantasy option, I have too many, um, is Divine Rivals. Because I know the second one of this one came out this year as well. And I've heard great things about this one as well. Barely 350 pages. So I feel like this would be a good option as well. You know, it just depends on like what kind of fantasy I'm feeling like. And all of these, all of these are part of series, of course. Yeah, again, just I just want to start a new fantasy series by the end of this year, which shouldn't be too hard. And then my last kind of category for this video is I want to read another hockey romance by the end of this year because I love hockey romances. Those are my favorite sports romances. And I guess Daydream is kind of hockey because he's on the hockey team, <laughs> obviously, but I, I just want to read another one. So one option I don't have, and that is The Fake Out by Stephanie Archer. I read the first one of that. I forget what that one's called, but it was really good. And I've heard that this one's even better, or at least just as good. I read that on Kindle Unlimited, so I was just going to read the second one on Kindle Unlimited as well. Um, so that's one option. I feel like that would be an easy quick one to get through. Or we have From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata, which I've never read any of her books, but she's a very widely loved author, except this one's very thick and very small writing. <laughs> I'm like, the way that I judge books like that is so funny to me. It's also almost 500. Oh, it is 500 pages. 530. Okay. It's 530 pages. And apparently it's a very, very slow burn. So that could be interesting or it could be annoying. Like it could go one of either ways. It could be like, keep me guessing and like interested in the love story, or it could just like be super boring and long. <laughs> so not sure if I'll get to this one, but this is one of my hockey romance options. Is Mile High Hockey? So this could, oh yeah, NHL. Okay, this could be an option as well. But again, it's thick with small writing, so I might just end up reading it on my Kindle. But it's not really close to the top of my list. We'll see. At least I have options. I just want to show you guys like my different options that I have. Um, and then I also still have all of, this is my physical TBR. But we're not even going to pay attention to that. We're just going to focus on these in front of me. Yeah, so those are all of the books that I will 100% be reading by the end of this year. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys have read any of these, which ones, like if you've read any of those fantasy series, which one you've liked the best and maybe you think I would really enjoy and actually want to read the first book and get through by the end of this year. Again, also I'll be doing like a fall TBR of like other books besides these that I want to try and get to in the fall. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!